Hi, Scott here. I just wanted to show you a mechanism that I've been working on for um, uh, my next project. Um, so I'm trying out a few different things here. I'm running, uh, this is all Lego Technic, by the way, uh, all official Lego. Um, so I got this little spool here with a uh, friction pin there so that things stay where they are. But the string runs through this uh, 9L um, rigid tube, they call it because I want to have it bend around corners and I don't want to have to have lots of pulleys but just for for testing here it is straight then I got this crazy mechanism where the string comes out of here goes up to this little ball ball on a bar and then comes down to this mechanism down here while well, this these couple pieces and it's just secured there and then for this red one for this thing the string comes from here just goes just resting on that ball and is secured there. So that piece has its own string, which you can see right there. And here's the crazy thing. I I still am trying to wrap my head around how this works. I guess I'm not very mechanically inclined, but if I turn this crank, it lifts up one, which extends the other. So this is pretty a pretty common mechanism, really. It's used for anywhere where there's like an extending thing. And you can see, that that crank is not directly connected to this. It's just moving this one, which ends up lifting that. But it's telescoping, telescoping. I'm gonna move out a little bit so you can see. So when you turn this crank the right way, see it extends up really far. So it starts out only about three units up. And then when you turn it, it goes up about seven or eight there. I forgot how long that is. I think that's a nine, so it's like an eight, eight up. So it ends up moving up, you know, that far, which is pretty crazy. It doesn't seem like this should work, but you know, here it is and it does. And you know, this can support quite a bit of, of weight, which is good because I need it to. <laughs> well, I mean, it's only as secure as you know, this string is secure here, and this is secure down here. I tried to use light-colored pieces, but I didn't have this. This is just a, uh, here you can see it a little bit there. It's just a uh, one by two half-height lift arm with two axle holes in it. Let me lower that. There you can see it in there better. But yeah, it's just a neat telescoping mechanism and works quite well. I still feel like I can make this a little bit more concise, more smaller. Oh, and it's just, um, this tube is just held in place with these two, um, pin with half stud. I think that's what they, or one and a half pin, I think it's called. It's basically the one with the stud on the outside. It holds the, the rigid tube, like, super perfectly snug in there so yeah that's pretty cool huh so obviously it's not super durable um but you could figure out ways to secure this string a little better and of course you know if, if this gets snagged there then it's not gonna extend out all the way. So it's not perfect, but for just a few pieces, it seems pretty good to me. And I was originally trying taking this, this rigid tube and having a bracket coming off from here. That's why this is in the wrong place. Um, but having a bracket come here that holds that like this so that it's more in line because I thought there might be a problem with friction right there at that top edge because you can see that it's it's resting right there on that focus here um it's just running on it right there I think I can turn this but I don't know if that's going to help oh there we go you can see that the friction is Come on, focus, there we are. 
thought maybe the friction right there might be a problem, but it doesn't seem to be. I did have a problem with this string coming down onto this side over here rather than that side over there. And what was happening is that this, let's uh, get in a little closer here again. Um, this was torquing to the right. So when you go to lift it, it was getting caught right, right there on that piece. But instead I have the string coming from the back over there, which rotates this so that this part is resting on these smooth uh, lift arms over here. So it moves up and down really smoothly. And then even though the string does touch right here a little bit, it doesn't seem to interfere with it. So it's all good. And it actually works a little better if there is a little bit of weight here. If, if there's not as much weight, then obviously the I mean, it's gravity that's letting it fall back down. The crank is lifting it up and gravity is it's letting it go down. So anyway, just a uh, cool mechanism. It's a uh, extending or telescoping beam. Uh, yeah. There we go. Have a good day.